What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This is going to be a podcast I did with Apex Gamer. I will link his Twitter and his YouTube down below in the description of the video, so check that out. He was the other voice on the video talking about the fights, so big thank you to him for getting this podcast up and going and predicting these fights. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of these. We can continue to do them and leave your picks as well in the comments. In the video, I do talk about DraftKings. If you guys want to check out DraftKings, the link for that also will be down below. Use promo code MMA game. But without further ado, hope you enjoy the pre-fight podcast. I don't have a name for it yet. Let me know the name again in the comments. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Versus, I'm not even familiar with the other girl. Nina Arnoff. That's a uh, that's um what's her name's girlfriend. One of the female fighters that just fought um the little Brazilian chick that fought. Uh, she she got beat by Cat by Cat Zangano pretty bad. That's her girlfriend. She said that she said Nina's coming. She said Nina Arnoff's going is coming for the belt. I don't know. I don't believe it. I mean, I saw I saw one of her fights earlier on in UFC. I wasn't really impressed, but. I don't know. I mean, Thug Rose is killing everybody on the show. Yeah. So maybe she'll run through this chick. She should, but yeah. look what happened to JoJo. JoJo was supposed to run through that that girl she fought, and that's that was such a weird thing. She got dominated. She got pieced up standing, and then tapped out quick. So, but Rose is a different animal. So she might she might blow through that girl. But I don't know. I'd like to see a tough fight. I'd like to see both of them face some adversity, prove where they are in that in that actual ranking system because rose is number four which debatable but you know yeah yeah so i don't know I, I just got rose in that fight i think i think rose can get it i think she can get it anyway i think she can get a submission or she can get it striking but we'll see her yeah. record doesn't look good when you look at rose's record you don't yeah, you don't see that but, but it's, it's it's different for the um i think the women because there's less there's less people there to begin yeah. with and most of those chicks don't start fighting until you know late in life and she's still early she's still so young yeah and plus you got to figure like a lot of them are going to par- probably wind up fighting each other like <laughs> a lot more often than in the other because there's just less less fighters hell i mean i was looking at um jessica aguilar's record and she's fought like three of the girls from the ultimate fighter like three times a piece so these chicks are gonna fight each other a bunch yeah that's a weird it's like a weird thing like you can sort of just keep fighting the same. I don't know. You're gonna have to just. It's just time. More people have to go into it. Yeah, I think. I think the more women that come up, because I mean, look at the the champion. She just came out of nowhere, and then that chick that beat JoJo just out of nowhere. You know, so it's it's still yeah, a lot just of talent. Muay Thai. If you can get someone from another background who's just completely dominant and they just hop over, it seems like they can do pretty decently well. <laughs> Yeah, they, they 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 come into this into the UFC and they don't have the same fear that you know Americans have. Americans don't want to lose in the UFC. And they come from another country. They're like, I don't give a shit. I just want to win. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I don't know if any of them are gonna be beating um, uh, Yoana. Shit. shit, no, I don't. I, I don't see Yoana and Jacek losing unless somehow she goes five rounds with Gadella and Gadella can actually get her on the ground. Maybe Gadella can probably get a decision victory, but. Judging from the first fight, not at all. Yeah. Not having it. All right, so that fight, we both got Rose. Yeah, easy right. pick. Yeah, I got I got Rose. Um, next one, Uriah Hall versus uh, <laughs> Hafe on the tall. Sapo, Sapo ain't getting no victory in that fight. I mean, uh, I think Uriah Hall can knock him out. I think you can stop him early, and it really just depends on how how Sapo fights. Because if he comes out trying to fight like he fought in his last fight. Like, I think four fights just kind of putting pressure on people. He's gonna go down fast. Yeah, but this, isn't where's this fight at in Vegas? Uh, oh yeah, 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 this is yeah Vegas. It is in Vegas. Yeah, it's in Vegas. So Uriah Hall could get an easy victory, and this one would be the one that would really push his name to the top of the queue. You know, because Sapo's been there. People know him. People seen him in some uh, some pretty good fights, but I don't know. Uriah Hall's only losses really come only his only legitimate losses come by Weidman and Constant Philippou. Other than that, he lost a decision to um, that Kelvin Gastelum, and then he lost another decision. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, Uriah Hall's like knocked. a weird. I don't know. It seems like it's taken him a while to like get going. I don't know. It's taken him a long time to break through. I mean, look at Kelvin. Kelvin Gaslam came off that show and just kind of ran through everybody and just kind of moved up the ranks real quick. And then 
well, he's got to start over because he can't make weight at 70. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this will be Uriah Hall's time. I think if he can get this one, he can get the ball rolling. He can They can start throwing some big names. Yeah, Uriah Hall just, like, demolished somebody, right? <laughs> Ron Stallings. He punched him and, like, cut his eyebrow so wide they had to stop the fight due to the cut between oh, yeah. rounds. That shit was gross. Yeah, man. Uriah Hall, yeah, if he just keeps it on the feet, it's it's – it's a wrap, right? Yeah, and nobody's really seen his ground game. He's got pretty good ground game. He, he's he's pretty versed. He was on that Ultimate Fighter, and uh, he Ronda Rousey came by on the show and was working with him. And you can see he's got some pretty good jiu-jitsu, but it's never going to get there. I don't think he's ever going to let anybody take him down. He's never going to grapple. He grappled with Weidman, and Weidman tired him out and wore him out and then stopped him on the feet. Mm. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going your eye hole. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not picking Natal. Not after that Tim Kennedy fight. Yeah. All right. So we'll go to the next one. Josh Berkman and Dong Young Kim. Uh, man. I mean, eh. this is a tough I one, I think. This is it's a weird fight because Dong Young Kim is a good grappler and he could probably just wrestle Josh Berkman and hold him down. But he's been striking in his last four fights and actually getting some finishes. And then he's he got a, finished he's by. He's a crazy him. man. Dong Young Kim's out of he's out of control. I don't know what's going on. I, I, when he I, fought, lo- I absolutely him. love Dong Young Kim is one of my like I love watching him fight. See, I used to hate watching him fight before he fought Condit. And when Condit stopped him with that flying knee, I don't know, something shook and he just changed and he started striking with everybody. And he knocked out Eric Silva and just derailed the whole Eric Silva hype train. Oh and yeah, then, he knocked him the hell out. I didn't. I didn't even watch that fight. I was at work, and uh, somebody pulled up the GIF and sent it to me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "How?" How? And did there's he a big. Not... He hit him on the ground too. I, I was. I was flabbergasted. I was like, "There's no way," because they told me the result, and I was like, "Eh, I'd have to see it to believe it." And then I saw it. I was like, "Good God, man, this dude is coming." He but... needs to tone it down a little because it's just getting <laughs> too much. It, he, he's a video game character. That dude does – he does some shit. That you, he did the John Medesi spinning back fist against John Hathaway and hit him with the elbow. That yeah. shit was nasty. Oh, that was, that was, my gosh. That was the yeah. sickest finish. Uh, I don't know. He can <sighs> – I think Stun Gun can get it done on the ground. Oh. And he can get it done standing. But Josh Berkman's crafty. That, that dude can probably he suck is, He is. That is the correct word, man. He is so crafty. When, he's when like he choked sneaky. out uh, – he choked out Fitch in a World Series of fighting and had to stop the fight himself because the referee didn't notice. I don't know. I got a newfound respect for a man who will choke and somebody he got in unconscious. There with, he got in there with Hector Lombard. Yeah, and and was mixing it up with him, too. Hector Lombard no was a little tired. No one else took the fight. Like, I, don't, I don't think anyone else wanted to fight him. No, nobody wants to fight Lombard. Everybody's uh, everybody's scared of that guy, man. He's scared. But, but scared. now you – but it also probably had something to do with the drugs because – yeah. He's, but not he's a little too big though. for 70. <laughs> yeah. He's too muscular for 70. He scares people, but I don't know. Berkman, Berkman's coming. I mean, I'm, I think I can go wild card on that one and just pick Berkman just because he, he could probably get it done. Uh, you know, I I would love to see him get a good win, but I don't know. Yeah, Stun gun might. I'll check the DraftKings <laughs> thing to see where he where he's at. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure many... he's underdog, a real underdog in that fight. It's... Uh... Yeah, he's yeah decent. He's only like eighty six hundred, and the other guy is like almost eleven thousand. So for the salary, yeah. So yeah, Berkman's a, a pretty big underdog. That's a that's a money fight. If you pick Berkman, it's, it's a money fight. If he can, yeah, if he can, I agree. Finish. That is a good. It is a good bet because he could win. If this Dong Young Kim guy gets crazy, you know, he could get caught against anyone really. Yeah, like the Tyron Woodley fight. It was kind of random. I didn't even see the punch that hit him, and he just went down. And you I watched the highlight. That. You was, can't do that against Woodley. <laughs> uh-uh. Wood, Woodley's too powerful, man. He he, <laughs> he gets risky. tentative, but he's powerful. Yeah. Yeah, that fight was over. But I don't know. I think I'm actually going to go Dong Young Kim. <laughs> I mean, hey, he's got – I mean, if Dong Young Kim does something fantastic, I mean, I can't do nothing but tip my hat. Dude, I'm just thinking I'm just thinking at this point he's just like, okay, I, I got to tone it down and I just got to beat this guy, and I think he can do it. <laughs> I, think, I think he'll just wrestle him and, and get it done that way. I mean, why not? If you got yeah, the power he can, and he's yeah, got judo. Yeah, because he used to do that to everybody. He's got judo for days. I mean, he, he does a lot of – the shit people praised Ronda Rousey for, he was doing it way before. Nice. He's nice. So that's that fight. You chose the underdog. I'm I'm picking Berkman, man. It's got got to go with the People's Warrior. 
All right, we'll see. I got uh, Dong Young Kim, Stun Gun, next fight, John Dotson, the magician, coming back. Uh, oh, his, his opponent's nickname is Fun Size. <laughs> yeah, Fun Size Zach. <laughs> this is Instagram tag. Oh my Zach Mikowski, man. I, th I think he's coming from Bellator, if I'm not mistaken, and he's fighting at 135 at Bellator. Yeah, I'll be honest. I haven't. I don't really know much about him. He's nice, man. He was he was one of those guys that I was I was looking forward to coming in, and uh, I don't know. He he's real. He's he's an MMA fighter. He's got a real good strike and real good jiu jitsu. He's, Is he's this balanced. his debut? This I think he's fought once or twice in the UFC before, oh. but he's 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 pretty balanced. But I don't know if John Dotson if John Dotson hits him, don't matter who he is, he's gonna be running around on skates. Yeah, I think everyone's picking Dotson, right? <laughs> Everybody's wise to pick Dotson. I think I think of John McCoy, but this is only a three round fight, so I mean. He's not going to get that tired that Mikowski can get the best of him. So I think John Dotson's easy going to sail through this fight. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty big favorite, too. Man, he's, so. It's because he, he's, he's track record, man. He's powerful. He almost stopped, you know, Demetrius Johnson, but he yeah. tired out in the fourth. I mean, that people are already wanting him to fight um, Johnson again. So I think this is sort of just like a... Yeah, the fight. They, can they get, can't just throw him the title right away. You know, they, he got to get at least like one win, probably. Yeah, if he can get through Mikowski, it's probably gonna be a title fight for him because nobody's matched up with Demetrius Johnson right now. So, yeah. especially if he can get out of this one with no injuries, yeah, that fight might be sooner than later. Yeah, I agree. I think he's just gonna probably just beat him up pretty easily and then get the title shot. Dot. I hope, man. I hope it, it's been long overdue for him to get back in that in that limelight. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I love watching Dotson fight. It's insane. <laughs> the crazy thing is half the shit he does in videos and in the gym, he never gets a chance to do in fights. If he does any of the stuff he does in videos, people will love him all over the world. He, it's like watching the ninja, a ninja, a little tiny ninja. Yeah, that. I mean, I think he can. I think if he's the only dude who can really beat Johnson. Yeah, I think he can bring the division up, and people actually, you know, start caring about the division more, and in, in the states anyway. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So I'm, I really hope he wins, and yeah, I'm picking Dotson to win. <laughs> that's, that's a smart bet. Uh, next one, main card: Benavidez versus Moraga. <laughs> that's a t that's a weird fight to pick because Benavidez's last loss was to Dot was Demetrius Johnson, and Moraga's last loss was to Dotson. And uh, I, I don't know. I think the only reason Moraga got stopped in that fight is because his nose got broken. So uh, he's tough and he's game. But I, I think Joe Benavidez hits too hard. And I think he's just too, I don't know, his striking is too precise. He's wild, but he lands those wild punches somehow. He's got a really high like accuracy rate. I mean, to say he's wild. Yeah. But. The thing that's crazy about a lot of those um, uh, alpha male guys, it's like they get to the top, but they sort of just, they just stay there and they can't. Yeah, they never can quite cross the hurdle. I mean, until TJ broke through, none of them really. Every one of them got to the belt and just, yeah, it was, just can't do so it. It's so weird how that all happens with all of them, though. Except well, like TJ, like you said. And and see TJ, I never I never thought TJ was gonna make it to the title. I, when I saw TJ come off the Ultimate Fighter and got knocked out by Dotson, I pretty much picked him to be run of the mill, just like the rest of them. But I've always wanted Joe Benavidez to be a champion because I just feel like he he works for it and he, he works hard. But I don't know. I mean, eh. He's in that division with Mighty Mouse. That's and, that's the problem. I, and I never saw him getting stopped by Mighty Mouse by strikes. That that never even occurred to me as a way that that fight can end. And when it happened, I was I was flat. I was completely confused. I was just at home just watching, like, what the hell just happened? So I don't know. Yeah. See, I don't know. I don't know what's. He's already fought him like twice too, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's fought him twice, and and John Moraga fought Mighty Mouse too, and. I, I think it went to the third, and then Demetrius just pulled an arm bar and done deal, fight over. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, the pick from, on this one, I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, if I had to bet, I wouldn't be betting either in this fight, because this fight could just be, this fight yeah. can go to the decision. But, I think if if it, if it gets stopped at all, Joe Benavidez can oh, stop wow. strikes. Oh, wow, Benavidez is a huge favorite on the... <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe, because Moraga's a tough huge. dude. Like, that's probably the biggest one on here is is the difference in in that one. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that's hard to believe because. So then I I would definitely go Moraga then if he's that big of an underdog. Yeah right. If Moraga can if Moraga can get the victory, man, that's gonna do so much for a lot of people. I might pick him on DraftKings because it's so cheap. Yeah, 
and he's good, man. He's got he's got good he's got good submissions. He's got good striking. He's real clean, and he he doesn't really seem like he gets hurt too often. And he fought Demetrius Johnson, I think, twice. I, I, I think, think he fought. Like the reason it's such so big of an underdog, it's just like kind of like what I just said is like though like they can handle basically everyone except top guy. <laughs> the very thing. so like anytime you put him in there with like a, a lower guy, they usually just destroy him. Yeah, I mean, fa- until until Saturday, Faber hadn't lost a non-title fight in his entire career, or at least in his since he moved into the UFC, he hadn't lost a single non-title fight until Frankie Edgar. So. I don't know. It says a lot about them, and I don't yeah. know. I guess if John Murray can get through him, that'd be nice, but Joe Benavidez might start him. Yeah, with the wrestling. I mean, it. it might just be the wrestling, you know? You, you could just yeah. lean on that and just go, he could just take him down every... every. See, see, Moraga's got so many submission victories. I mean, he's got guillotines. I mean, but see, that's team guillotine, so he ain't, yeah. he ain't getting one off on them, but he's got... He's got like three or four guillotines on his records, and one of them was to Chris Cariasso. He guillotined Justin uh, Justin Scoggin, who's in the first fight on the card, and he guillotined uh, so a couple people in like before he really got into the UFC. So I don't know. Yeah, it would be it'd be nasty if he guillotined Joe uh, Jitsu. Yeah, but as far as prediction, I'm probably gonna lean toward uh, Benavidez. Benavidez. Yeah. Smart but money on, just on, easy. on the draft king, I'm probably just gonna pick Moraga, maybe <laughs> one of them. I don't know. But he could so, be a yeah, big payout. I'll, I'll go. We'll both go Benavidez, right? Yeah, that's best. As far pay. as like prediction. Oh yeah, I think Benavidez can get it done. Yeah. All right. Next. Now Ooh. from from the 125 to the heavyweight. Ooh, Travis uh, Brown Arlovsky. That's a mean fight. That's a that's a mean fight, man. That fight's I don't... getting like no promotion. <laughs> Which is crazy. I mean, I think it's because you know Travis Brown isn't really like that big of a, a household name. People don't really don't really care about. Yeah, it. Especially but people after care about the heavyweights right more though. I think like they get you, more excited about heavyweight fights. They gravitate towards them, but they don't really like. I don't think a lot of people know who's really surging right now in heavyweight. They other than the champion and you know like Stipe, that's the only people that are really surging, but Andre Olowski is coming. I, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think he can get it done. I think he can, I think he can finish Travis Brown. Oh yeah. Especially with the way he finished Bigfoot. I don't know. Can, I think he can if stop he can him. Avoid the grappling. Yeah. Cause Brown showed a new wrinkle to his game against Shaw. He took him down and just manhandled him. It was, it, and, it looked like child's play. It looked like he was, you know, just another day in jujitsu, just easy win and yeah. just rolled right through him. But, but he also was rocked. Like Shab was rocked bad. Uh, Shab Shab's rocked at the walkout. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Arlovski though also, uh, Brown's hella good in the clinch. Yeah, and he's tall. I, I don't know how much taller he is than Arlovski. I think he's like six eleven, and Arlovski's like six four or something like that. So yeah, he could elbows, probably man. use the clinch. And he's he's got good front like good lateral strikes like his anything coming down the middle he's he's pretty he's pretty nice like his his front kicks could disrupt uh, Arlovski's boxing because Arlovski doesn't really throw too many kicks he pretty much just boxes so if Travis Brown can skate around on the outside like he did against Overeem and throw front kicks then he's gonna frustrate him he's gonna piss him off early but I don't know I, I want Arlovski to I want Arlovski to really come through for the heavyweights bring the legends back yeah because if like the winner of this is I don't know who, like that's such a weird division now, kind of. Yeah, I mean, pretty much after the Cain Blasquez fight, I think Stipe is like the only person really, really on people's minds for a title shot. And then after that, you know, uh, the winner of this fight, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but for this one, I don't know. I think I want to say Travis Brown will probably win because I think <laughs> Travis Brown can get a hold of him, and if he gets a hold of him. Like if it's a straight up like stand up fight, I think Arlovsky, but yeah, I think he can somehow get him down or get get him in the clinch and kind of get him Rough down him somehow. Yeah, <laughs> he's a big man. If he can get it done, I think he can. And he's got a really high takedown accuracy. Like his takedown accuracy on the UFC website is like seventy two, and Arlovsky's defense is like I guess rated eighty five percent. So I don't know. It's one of them things. Ew. Uh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see the the end result of that one. That one could be a drag down, bloody fight. Could. Yep. <laughs> so who you got? Who you picking? I'm picking Arlovsky, man. I got. I got to stick with the old guys, the legends. 
No, Arlovsky I, I, I see. I, I I'm go. rooting for Arlovsky, but I just I don't know if he can do it. I I, I leaning toward Brown to actually win. <laughs> I think he's got more ways to win. But I'm uh, rooting for Arlovsky. <laughs> it'd be okay. nice. All right, so then Cowboy versus McDessie next fight. Yeah, Cowboy. Cowboy should be a shoe in, but I don't know. I was watching McDessie's highlights earlier. That guy, I don't know. He's he's a serious he's a serious striker. So I don't know. I think Cerrone's height and reach will play a big factor. And if he can keep Medesi on the outside and pick him off, he can pick him off all night. And, and I don't know. I think he can probably rock him and finish him with a submission. So I'm picking Cerrone to win by submission. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the worst thing to see John Medesi come through in the clutch and, and actually you know put some opposition in front of Cerrone. Mm-hmm. How but, how many uh, to- how much time did he have? Like when did he come in to to the, the fight? UFC? Like oh, it was a late <laughs> late replacement. Right? Like three weeks maybe. I don't know. It not enough because and he just fought. Uh, Medesi yeah. just fought a uh, like maybe a month and a half ago. So, I, don't yeah, know. I don't know. I I don't think that's going to be good news against Cerrone. Uh, and uh, if if it looks anything like the Eddie Alvarez fight, uh, Medesi's gonna have a hard night. But I don't know. I was watching his highlights. That dude's he's flashy, but you know I'm pretty sure. Well, Cerrone doesn't watch I mean, tape, so experience alone. Yeah, and the the winning record, you know, because Cerrone's been on that that crazy tear. But Desi hadn't really even fought that much. I think he's only like got fifteen professional fights. I mean, Cerrone's got twenty seven wins. Hey, but I, I I I respect that that he's getting in there. You know that yeah. that's, that's that's what you got to do. That takes some gumption. To, uh, You're trying to go to for the title. Up. That's what you do. And it puts you in a good position. But if, like I said, if Cerrone if Cerrone can pick him off, man, Cerrone's he's gonna I mean, be he fighting for the title. Lose. He, John no, not at all. has nothing to lose. <laughs> no, not at all. He he's in a situation where he can just go guns blazing entire fight. Worst case scenario, he loses. Or worst, case, yeah. uh, you know, in best case scenario, they just have like a, a bloody war and just get a fight of the night, and everyone loves him. Yeah, money. I mean, and that, with his in lieu of his uh, his personal issues, he might need some extra cash. That fear the fighter shit ain't going too well. Yeah, I heard something about that. <laughs> yeah, I, so uh, that that might be also a factor too, you know. His mental state, his mental yeah, state could his, be. It I mean, might not be in the wrong. It might be in the wrong place. <laughs> he ain't seem affected in that last fight, man. He got out of there in I think like fifty seconds. So, ah, but that's, he's he's a, he's a weird pick, man, and, that, and especially in this fight. I think he might. You think he might just try to like rush him, like just empty it all in the first round. I'd like to see him try, but I mean, I think if he can, if he can hit Cerrone early, he can probably get some respect, and because uh, he's got a real good combination game, he throws a lot of fancy, a lot of fancy spinning kicks, a lot of spinning punches. So I think, I think if he can get Cerrone scared of his power and he can really open up, he would be a good fight. But I still think Cerrone has way more ways to win, and if he if he hits him at all, Cerrone will hurt him and will sub him, and another another bonus for Cerrone. I think he'll get a, a performance bonus and yeah, I, and I just agree. coast. I agree, but, man. I, it might go similar to the um, Miles Jury fight, possibly. Yeah. Oh God, I hope not. I hope, I hope it doesn't turn into one of those. I mean, Desi hasn't doesn't really have a record for you know being really evasive. He's he's usually right there in the guy's face the entire time. So I I hope I hope that he comes out and he fights and he performs even if he loses. I mean, it's still gonna be it does nothing but good for him. Yeah, so, so he's in a Cerrone, good position. Yeah, he's a pretty big favorite too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm picking Cerrone. That's it. Yeah, got to man. It's a that's an easy bet. But big props to McDessey for stepping in. There's probably not a lot of people who <laughs> were no. happy about that or like were no, jumping pr- to get on that fight. Oh no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't imagine anybody in that division really. I mean, other than Benson Henderson, nobody's jumping in like that, and he would never fight Cerrone again after that last one. Yeah, so we both got Cerrone on that one. Oh yeah, easy. Next, Comain, Weidman, Vitor. Oh, oh man, once again, I mean, I, not not enough can be said about Chris Weidman and what he's done in the UFC, but only twelve and zero. Yeah, he's he's only fought twelve fights and he's defended his title twice against two of the biggest names in Brazilian MMA, only to fight the third one right after. I don't know if this is Vitor that fought Luke Rockhold, that fought Dan Henderson, and that fought Bisbing that same year. 
Bisping, yeah, I think he, I think, I think Vitor can get it done if that's the same Vitor. But he's been off for what thirteen months. I mean, physically, for this fight, physically, you could. It's not the same. You can tell. Yeah, I mean, he looks smaller. He's been out for so long, and you know, it's the first fight coming off the TRT. I don't know. I mean, I would love to see him come out there and just look amazing, but if he doesn't. Oh, Vitor God, knows how to win. Vitor knows how to win. Like that's just I mean, he knows that dude knows how to win. It, you could basically take him off anything, you know. But he does like he almost beat Jones. I mean, he technically, if that referee, if the referee saw that the arm broke, Vitor won that belt. And I mean, that's that tells you a lot about who he is. I mean, he's he's got real quick jujitsu. He's, he's got going real for quick the finish, striking, like at all times. Uh, but uh, it's easy to see him get deflated. I mean, and in that John Jones fight, that's what happened. When he went for the arm bar, got the arm lock, felt it lock out, felt it break, you know, in his mind, you know. I mean, when you're on the mats and you get a submission, you know it's the end. So you kind of like, you wind down. And I guess that's what happened. He wind down and, and he broke. And John Jones was able to just control him basically with one arm for the rest of the fight. Uh, I mean, yeah. if he can't finish, I don't think, if he can't finish Wyvern in the first or second fight, first or second round, there's a chance that he's going to just, you know, digress. And if he digresses against Weidman, it's going to be bad news. Weidman is just a machine. That guy, I don't know. I think his <laughs> only hope is, like, early. Vitor's Yeah. It's, it's early. early standing or early on the ground. I mean, I think he can get it done either. I mean, nobody's really tested Weidman's jiu-jitsu. Everybody talks about it. They say how great it is, but nobody's ever really seen him. That's have to true. grapple with somebody that's really good at grappling too. I mean, Machida couldn't get it to the ground, nor did he try. I mean, everybody he's everybody Wyman's fought, he's been on top of. So if Vitor can get mm-hmm. on top of him, that would show some real that would show some real adversity for Wyman. And you know, we'll see yeah, where, where I, that goes. I think I said like on uh, on the stream that I think that Vitor might have something just crazy planned. Like he always, because if you look at all of his fights, how he's catching a lot of the guys, he's throwing just stuff that they don't even like suspect at all. Like they don't no, even not see at all. it. With the Dan Henderson fight, he was moving backwards, and and Dan was just moving in. It looked just like the when Dan Henderson fought Gigard Musasi, except Vitor just has thump and power, and he as soon as he clipped him, it was over. He didn't even have to kick him. He didn't have to get back up. It was done. And. Uh, I don't yeah. know why Wyman likes the pressure and Vitor likes to fight moving backwards. So yeah, that's true. It seems like it's tailor made for for Vitor to win by knockout, unless Wyman comes in with a clear conscience and then really paces himself and really watches his footwork and placement. And, and it's Wyman's five rounds. Guy. It's five rounds yeah. too. If it goes, Wyman's you know, huge. if it gets into the late rounds, it's, I, I can't imagine Vitor having. No, I can't imagine him having the gas tank to go past the third round. Like once it, if it even looks like it's headed towards the third, I think Vitor is going to start to decline. And that's, that's if it when, even makes it that far. That's when becomes just like goes into machine mode. <laughs> Super Wyman is just going to power through and get a, a blast double and just smash him on the ground. So yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I got I got Wyman. I got Wyman. I think Wyman's got more ways to win, but. Because I want, you know, I would love to see Black Zillions leave with belts. I mean, that's just, that's just the way, that's the way I see it. I mean, if Vitor can take that belt, that would be the perfect situation for me. That I would, would love be, it. I, would, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Vitor all day. Hell, if Vitor takes the belt from Wyman, that rematch would be massive. Oh my People gosh. would go crazy for a rematch. So I don't know. <laughs> And Vitor's like wanted Vitor. this title shot for so long, man. He has not given it up. No, uh-uh. he's the only person with the patience to actually sit out and wait for the title. And I mean, maybe that's his undoing. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out if that's uh, if he made a fatal error by waiting that long. But yeah, I don't know. Amazing fight, though. Can't wait to watch that oh, one. Yeah. That one's going be exciting. I got Wyvern. You got Vitor. Oh, yeah. All right. So now the main event. Rumble. I don't even want to see this fight. <laughs> Rumble versus DC. I don't even want to see this fight. In my mind, in my mind, Anthony Johnson was fighting John Jones for the title, and I was picking Johnson to stop John Jones and take that belt, and then they end up fighting DC four or five months from now, and then having to figure out who I thought was going to win that fight. So in my mind, this is supposed to happen sometime next year. Yeah. So uh, I don't know, man. It's with, with the thing with Rumble is at two hundred five, nobody's ever really been able to get a hold of him. And it's because he's so much bigger, so much, so much stronger, and he hits so much harder. And DC's banking on being able to get inside and clinch him. 
and take him down from the clinch because that's usually where he's he's uh, susceptible. I, I think that's where his um, they said statistically all his takedowns come from the clinch. You know, from him getting taken down. And if DC can take him down from the clinch, he can easily probably get a submission and and beat Rumble Johnson by rear naked choke. The same way Vitor beat him. Same yeah. way Kaisek beat him. But I don't know if I don't if think he can it's get the him same down. Johnson. That's the question. If he can get him down. Yeah, I, I think this Johnson's just way too explosive and way too powerful. He, I don't think he'll let anybody get in on his legs. Maybe yeah, Phil later, Davis. Phil Davis can. Phil Davis can do anything, but Phil Davis is re- his wrestling in MMA has been, you know, slightly, you know, sometimes overrated. But DC's wrestling in MMA has been pretty successful against bigger, stronger heavyweights. But they were they weren't as quick, they weren't as explosive, they didn't have as wide of an arsenal. So I think Rumble Johnson has. He has so many ways he can win. Yeah, Rum- I heard Rumble Johnson say in, a, in an interview, I think he said, uh, he's like, yeah, I don't care that DC trains with Kane. He's like, I'm not Kane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm I mean, not Kane. I'm faster than Kane and all this stuff. He, he's telling the truth, man. Kane yeah. is Kane is powerful. Kane is strong. He's good. But but Rumble is explosive. Like his, his punches come out of nowhere, and they come fast. I mean, look at Gus. Nobody saw Gus going down like that. I knew it was going to happen. The day they booked that fight, I was at work and I was one of my coworkers was like, oh, they booked Rumble Gus. I was like, well, I guess Gus ain't never making it back to that title. And, you know, I hadn't been wrong about a Rumble prediction yet. And I've, I've loved that guy's yeah, fighting I, I since he was a 70. People, people, I don't think really, he, he could he could go down as like one of the best knockout guys ever, I think. Yeah. I mean, and his his knockout record is just, it's uh, it's hideous. If you watch his highlights, it is violent, like, especially when he's at 170. He was stopping people with head kicks. And at this point, that's right. playing a factor in, in the mental. Uh, uh, you know, when you're fighting him, you got to be worried. You have to be yeah. worried. Like, uh, this dude don't, like, he knocks people he, out. Like He comes he comes to finish. He, he's, he's, he's a serious action fighter. And you can tell about the way he stands. Like, his stance, I mean, it's, 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 it's sharp. It's not even relaxed. Like, he's not really flowy. He's not really chill in there. He looks... Like he's about to throw some heavy, some heavy leather at your head, and I, I don't know, man. I think that's gonna play. I think it's gonna play into DC once he can hit him, but we'll see how DC fares once he is hit. Cause um, I, I got I got Rumble all day. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be a. I thought he could, like you said, I was picking him to potentially beat Jones if yeah. Jones like struck with him a lot. I but. was I was thinking he was going to stop Jones anywhere it went because I, I, Jones doesn't really blast double anymore so I was really picking Anthony Johnson to get in there. But if, I, if I'm picking just based on, on the different variety of, of techniques and, and things available, I got to pick DC because DC's got the submission game. He's got the wrestling. His People don't really think about his power but he was stopping heavyweights and he's smaller now than he oh, was yeah, then. Oh yeah, I so, know. I know that yeah, DC, his it's like yeah, he he can knock people out too, but technically it's you know it's not even close like with the striking. Yeah. Plus it, Johnson's it, got kicks too. I mean he it's not yeah, just he's got and good I can kicks. easily see him throwing a head kick up there with against DC and just yeah, cause DC's just, short. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's not looking good for his height. If, if if Rumble starts to put his kicks, you know, even if he puts his kicks to the body. And the John Jones fight, once DC started getting hit in the body, he really like started slowing down and started really pacing himself. Because uh, once Jones hit him with the knees to the body and then turned the knees to straight punches, it really took a lot out of him. And it just it just made it hard for him to continue to compete in rounds four and five. And if Rumble can start off early, landing body shots, and force DC to have to you know face that again, I think Rumble can either knock him out in the first or coast him out for five rounds and just beat him I mercilessly. Think, yeah. I think Johnson just has to be a little like careful not to go too crazy like early because yeah. if he tires out and DC gets on him, it's it's done. over. Yeah, it's over. It's over. But I think and, he'll be smart. This is a five round fight. I think he'll pace himself probably pretty good. Yeah, I think he's had I think he's had enough experience at five rounds. I mean, I think he fought Arlovsky. I think that might have been a five round fight. And uh, every fight after that has been in the UFC, and he main evented one of them, but. I think the Phil Davis was a three round, and then the Gus fight was supposed to be for five, but didn't get there. So, yeah. I, you know, I mean, my heart says Rumble Johnson. I would love to see him leave the belt, but speaking on only techniques available, I mean, I got to go with DC. Oh, you you actually think DC's gonna win? I, I think he has. I think he has the the arsenal to get it done, but 
in my mind, I, I see him getting <laughs> him getting stopped as easily is easily predicted. But I think he's just got too many techniques. I think he's gonna piss a lot of people off because he's probably gonna wrestle oh, the entire fight. Okay. I think a lot of people are gonna be really mad when they watch that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that too for sure. <laughs> It's going to look a lot like when he fought uh, Josh Barnett. He's going to pretty much just put him up against the cage and just stand there and stomp on his feet. And people are going to be really pissed. Yeah, because that is what Jones did to him, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. And Jones was bigger and stronger and just taller. And he couldn't get it done. But I don't know. I mean, he might be able to get it done against Rumble. I would love to I see Rumble leave I, I the think belt. Rumble, I think Rumble, uh, you know, people. it's like uh, people don't know yet, you know. So they just have to. If he goes out there and just blasts DC, there's Man. no point. He knows. People if he know blasts now. DC, oh, God, I think, it's I over. think that, that's what I'm predicting. I think he's just going to keep his distance, not being able to you know, stay away from the grappling, and just blast him with something. That's it. Yeah. My, if DC I guess tries my, to hit him, like, to, to throw something stupid against Johnson, you know, you're done. Like he did in that Frank Mir fight. He threw a couple jump kicks in that fight. So, I don't know. DC's risky. He takes he takes some wild risks, but yeah, I don't think he'll will against this against Anthony. Though, but... I don't know. I don't know. My my pick is, is conditional. <laughs> if Rumble can can keep the distance, he can win. But if DC can get in close, it's, it's gonna be a rough night. And I gotta nice. pick. I gotta pick the Louisiana native. I'm born in Lafayette, same area. You know, we we travel some of the same circles. So oh, and DC is the favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. DC, especially coming out of because he's coming out of John Jones fight, so automatically, you know, everybody, yeah, everybody's so, most familiar with him. I'm kind of surprised though, a little bit. I mean, I, I get people are picking the basically they're picking what, on what he said. You know, he he talked about Rumble Johnson suffering the rear naked chokes and not being great in the clinch. So I mean, people people really get into that, and he has the voice. You know, he's on he's on Fox Sports One. He's the one talking about fights. So what he says is usually what people go to. And yeah. like uh, he can get it done, Rumble could get it done. That's that's why it's such a weird fight for me. I don't even. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching that fight with like my fingers over my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a crazy fight. That's a e- see. That's the beauty. Even with the, um, even with Jones out, it's still a great main event. But see, I think that's the thing that really shakes up makes martial arts is when a champion's there for too long. Eventually, the division just looks pointless and it looks it looks hopeless and same thing was with middleweight and, and same thing was with gsp over 170 as soon well, as ronda 170 too. opened yeah i mean i don't know that division ronda can keep doing what she's doing it, it, i don't see any of those girls looking as good as she does in fights i mean jessica eyes fighting misha tate winner of that fights ronda rousey after betch uh, yeah it's all starting to just become blur but if betch can even stay in there with ronda then we're probably gonna see misha versus ronda three and we'll go from there but like this division is free now. People can actually, you know, think about OSP maybe challenging for the title, or maybe Ryan Bader will fight for redemption. You know, it, it's it's wide Ryan open. Ryan Bader's now. like waiting in the wings for a yeah, call D- for a title DC's shot. DC's pissed. DC's pissed about that. What he's do you mean? Very, he's he's upset. He's like he's mad because Ryan Bader tried to jump the line. You know, Ryan Bader was like, "Hey, I, I want to fight for the title." And <laughs> DC was like, "What?" <laughs> he got he's he legitimately was mad about that. I was like, "All right, well, well whatever." I mean, it's, it's kind of fair. Like they were both. I mean, they both could they have potentially, but it would. It's just for the. They're not going to put Bader in a title mm-hmm. shot. No, if Bader falls for that belt, you can just gift wrap it and send it home to Johnson. You <laughs> you can send it to him a week in advance. He could be walking around with it right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor Bader. I thought I thought for sure DC was gonna fight Bader in Louisiana, and Bader was gonna retire after that fight. That was what I was thinking was gonna happen, but well, you know, he lives well, to fight another day. Yeah, that's a good main event. Uh, I got Johnson for my pick. Yeah, I'm from, from Lafayette, man. I just gotta I gotta go DC. with the local boy. <laughs> all right, well, that's basically all the all the fights. Pretty good card overall. That's gonna be a nail biter. If you if you actually you know you're in the MMA and you like watching a wide variety of fights, this is the card to start on. All right, guys, that is the first episode of the podcast. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video. Check out Apex Gamer on YouTube and leave any of your constructive criticism and or comments below. Till next time, this has been MMA Game. Enjoy the fights and let us know your predictions. Peace.